This is a new modem and the flash chip on this modem typically comes just just of two chips. One is the SPI chip, which is smaller than the regular like uh, 8 megs. This is like 4 meg flash and it's like booster loader. There's additional flash on the back, which is the nano flash and it becomes more and more popular nowadays. We know we are able to program the SPI chip on the board and uh, this there is very little tool that can do the programming this flash on the board particularly on the board you know if you were disorder the chip and you can use the NAND programmer to read and write it but I think it's more convenient if we were able to, to program the chip as we did for SPI chip which means we want to program it on the board this is a prototype I make the second round uh, it's a pre-production which will do the NAND flash programming and uh, it will allow you to program the NAND flash like so and click on or if we were using a uh, adapter like this and connect lock it here and use this clip to clip to the board and I'm going to show you how I can use this device to program the uh, UC modem, uh, the NAND flash on the board. This is how the uh, new device is hooked up to the target. It use this adapter and use this uh, clip to clip on. Let me show you how this one, this one is all here. And then gently plug in and you can feel it is connected. It's not uh, as, as you like bang on it's you know slightly generally on it and this is how the clip to the module so here and click click on like so and because this chip does not draw a lot of power and I have measured it's safe to use the power direct from the this called Ulink NAND and I'm going to go to the software to show how this works so this is the software that I configured for the uh, UC U10C135 NAND and I probably need another one for SPI flash as well and we have downloaded the datasheet of the NAND flash here and we know this is a 1 gigabit which is um, about 128 kilobyte of flash and to be able to program it we simply power on like so and then we can detect and we can click read NAND flash by nature might have some uh, bit errors during read, so we need a way to do the uh, checking for the ECCs and the if bit error happens. So I hope someone can uh, provide information or write a utility to do this. By the way, this uh, flash I just added to the NAND flash definition in here. At the end, I find the datasheet for the, these five values and add to the end given the size. So to f C to F1809502 can be found in the datasheet here, C2. If you look at C2 here, you see C2 F1 A0 And that's all you need to put in here and name, then the total size and the sec page size and the uh, sectors uh, block size. This is the page size, which is uh, 2112 bytes, which is 2K at the ECCs and a 64 pages consists of one block 
uh, this this tool is not meant for uh, program massive NAND flash, which is like you know eight gigabyte or whatever. This one only one gigabit, which is one twenty eight kilobyte, and reading at this speed is is doable. And the programming is about five hundred kilobytes per second. So I believe reading the entire flash on this one probably take about two minutes or so. Let's see how long that does it take. It's about one meg per second. So two two minute two and a half minutes. So it's durable on the small scale of the flashes for modems like this. And now we have a a backup. Uh, of course, this is this is. Let me save it to another one, which is not this is modem. And we open the new folder called U10C135. And this is this is an NAND. Here is another application for this device to program NAND flash. And we remove the NAND flash from the board and put in the socket like this one. And this, by the way, this is a very inexpensive uh, adapter. And you match pin one to pin one here and make sure pin one on the flash is on this side. You know, there's a mark here and plug it in like so. Then we power on. And on, on the software side, we can select the NAND flash 512 and then we can detect um, we can I think I have the flash file here let's see if we can read it I'll just read it This flash is a 512 kilobyte, so it should take about one minute to read. By the way, this is using the, the power on the board direct to power the chip. And we can um, disconnect the power from here if we will connect to the target and it will be in the software. And it takes one minute and eight seconds. So let's save it as a backup. And let's erase it. And by the way, this flash chip, I have, I know there is a bad, uh, bad, bad block. So if you erase, uh, compare it, it will fail because one, one sector will fail to compare it, but we can try anyway. We know the majority of the uh, sectors are erased, but certain sectors you cannot erase because it's bad block. Okay, I was wrong. Probably the other flash is bad block because so far the read seemed to be okay. Okay, we are fully erased it. So let's program this back 
Let's see. And right back. As you can see, the write speed is about um, 550, 560 kilobytes per second. Not bad uh, for the size of this flash. It does not take too long to program as well to too long to read it. So I think it's to full, uh, totally doable on this device. If you were program a large uh, nano flash, like eight gigabyte or even 16 gigabyte, then this device probably not good because it will take too long to program and, and verify. Two minutes programming and let's verify it. You can see this is not as bad as I thought it would. Uh, typically, the nano flash has a bit of rest, read and write. And with this, this size of the nano flash, we do not seem to have any bit errors during program and the read. And that will be very good news for people to play with the nano flash. And actually, on some of the modern uh, routers I have seen the nano flash, I never seen find a single bad block at all. So. It could be used as no flash we, we, we have now. <laughs> 